It is real 2018. Black-eyed children of the Pacific Northwest. Pug dog man of Prosser, Washington. The UFO incident at Dinner Cortes. Camptrails of Okanagan County. The haunted Civil War battlefields of Virginia. The time travels of John Titus. The investigative team of Ron and Bill hard at work. The It Is Real investigative team rolled back into action in 2017. Armed with the latest and cutting edge technology. Revealing shocking secrets and uncovering unbelievable mysteries. The It Is Real team is back for what promises to be an action-packed no holes barred 2018 season. We will take you to places where all others are afraid to venture. Hold on to your seats buckle up send the children and faint of heart out of the room for this incredible wild ride. Hi, my name is Bill. Hi, and I'm Ron. And welcome to the next show of It Is Real 2018. Yeah, this is our third show of the season and the title of this show is The Curse of the Treasure of Jetty Island. Now we have a nice clip prepared for you to kind of bring you up to speed, so we'd like to roll that right away. And before we roll the clip, just want to give this out to you right away. Our phone number is 605-475-6967. Call us right now. Call us right now, and the call will go into queue. Get in the queue. And we'll also let you know you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel at Hole in the Wall TV Everett. And you, can, and you can Google that. You'll see that on the screen throughout the show, all that information. Go ahead, Leaf. Why don't you go ahead and roll that clip? Roll the clip, Leaf, for the opening of our show. The Curse of the Treasure of Jetty Island. On April 1st, 1893, the pirate Captain Billy the Wencher Colby and his fleet of eight ships were transporting loot into Puget Sound. They were spotted by the U.S. Coast Guard sloop Shelby Wetmore. Were chased, feeling trapped. They buried the treasure on Jetty Island, then scuttled all the ships at the mouth of the mighty Snohomish River. Since they were elderly at the time, when they came back six months later, they had forgotten where they buried it. A very pissed off Captain Colby then placed a curse upon the city of Everett. The treasure was never found until we put two and two together and found the loot. Tonight, on It Is Real 2018, we will unveil the found treasure of Jetty Island, and the curse is leveled upon our fair city. Hold on to your peg legs and pirate panties. Whoa, what a, what a clip that was. You've got a little bit in mind now of, of what you're going to see tonight in our show. You know, it's almost too much information. No, a little bit too much information, but that's just... A little bit of what you're going to see. This is yes. a great show coming up. Now, we already have a call in, in queue, Bill. Yeah, the calls are coming. So we're going to take our first call of the show. Let's go ahead and answer it. And go ahead, caller. Uh, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, this is Hakeem, and I've, I've been living in Everett all my life, and I've, I've never, ever heard of any kind of treasure. No, you well, know, we haven't heard about that we either. Did, we didn't hear about it just recently, Hakeem. Yeah, this is news. No, I think you guys are making this entire thing. Well, you don't need to insult us, but watch no. the show tonight and you'll see that we're not full of it. Yeah, keep an open mind. Yeah, keep it open. No, I, I, there, there's no treasure. I think I've been to Jetty Island many times and I've never seen anything like this. I've been to the library, I've seen, I've read all the books and I think you guys are making this up. You're just all full of it. I, I can't take this anymore. Goodbye, I can't take it. Goodbye. Well, yeah. well, th thanks That's for calling, Hakeem, anyway. Uh, just watch the show, watch keep the an show. open mind. We didn't know a thing about this. That's the name of the show, is It Is Real. Until we had this information passed on to us. That's right. Now, 
we've we've got another little clip oh. to run for you now this has something to do with the with the curses that we think were were handed down upon this land around us that we now call everett captain billy the wencher colby was so angry he couldn't find the treasure that he put a horrible curse on the city so this is a, a clip that we put together that will show you some of the curses that were laid upon our fair city of everett let's go ahead and roll the clip roll the clip leaf The Everett Massacre, Bloody Sunday, November 5, 1916. It was perhaps the deadliest day in the turbulent history of the industrial workers of the world. At least five Wobblies, and perhaps as many as twelve, died along with two deputies on the afternoon of November 5, 1916. Sheriff McCree and 200 armed and hastily deputized men met the steamer of Verona at the Everett Dock, vowing to continue with free speech fight in support of striking Everett shingle mill workers. Wobblies had been twice attacked, beaten and driven out of town. Now they were back in force. 260 aboard the Verona and another 40 following on the Callista, vessels that had been chartered by the Seattle IWW local. No one knows who fired the first shot, but it triggered a raging gun battle that lasted 10 minutes and dozens wounded, along with 7 confirmed dead. Authorities immediately blamed the IWW. 74 Wobblies were charged with conspiracy to murder the deputies. The trial of first defendant Thomas Tracy, began five months later and was closely followed in newspapers across the country. When the Seattle jury found him not guilty because of the probability that the deputies had been killed by friendly fire, the other defendants were released. The year was 1984. I don't think George Orwell could have dreamed up anything as strange as a giant pile of tires on fire. On September 24, 4 million used tires, stored for recycling in Everett, Washington, begin burning. Though fire officials expected to extinguish the blaze by the end of that day, it proved too difficult to contain. Mount Firestone made national news. By mid-morning the fire had grown hotter and more dangerous. Methane gas shot from the pile like 30-foot-high blasts from a blowtorch. The updrafts were so strong they picked up flaming tires and hurtled them hundreds of feet in the air. It was as if Godzilla showed up in the backyard. It continued to burn and smolder and pollute until May of 1985. In the year 2010, the city of Everett was gifted a championship lacrosse team. They won the lacrosse Super Bowl in 2010, then came in second in 2011 and 2013. The games were exciting to watch. They had the best cheer squad in the nation, they were then taken away from the city in 2014, and moved to of all places. Langley, B.C. Many blame the team's move on the curse of Captain Billy the Wencher Colby. What a scary clip that was. You know, I've lived here for 10 years, and the, the curses just keep rolling in. 
Uh, I tell you, after looking at those, those, I think that might just be a sample of some of the curses, but those were some of the major ones. Yeah, this city is really taking it in the shorts. Now, um, just one more time, we'll give you the phone number, although you're going to see it on the oh, screen. 605-475-6967. Yeah. Call, call us, us now. And we'll take your call. We'll put it in our queue. Yeah. And remember, Hole in the Wall TV Everett, and you can Google us to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Great. Now we, we take that call. We have another call. We have one more oh, call coming one in. Call. One you more ready? call. Yeah, I am Here ready. Comes. Here we go. Here comes. She's been waiting for a while. Yep. I think it's a she. Let's see. Go ahead, caller. Go ahead. What's your name? Where are you calling from? What's your name? My name is Anna Tupal, and I am from Cheese Eye, Washington. Hi, well, Anna. hi, Anna. How are you doing? Cheese Eye. We've been there. That's a small. I grew yeah. up in Everett, and it was one cursed city indeed. Well, yeah, well, well yeah, you probably know by My cousin was injured during the Everett Tire Fire. Oh, my God. Well, that oh, was a horrible, brutal horrible. fire. It lasted a whole His year. His eyebrows were burned off and never grew back. Oh, oh man, that's a that's sad thing. to move away in order to live a normal life. Well, you went to a yeah. small place. You're isolated. Yeah, having your eyebrows burned off Once is not good. Once we left Everett Life, returned to normal. Yeah, it usually does. Yeah, in Chisaw, yeah. there's not much going on. Thank you for a really good show tonight. Thank you, Anna. Well, thank you, Anna, for calling. You sound a little yeah. uh, like you're still kind of traumatized. A little depressed. A little depressed, but in Chisaw, yeah. there's really not much excitement. No. A, a couple of old buildings, if I can remember right. No. Anyway, thanks for oh. calling, Anna. We appreciate that. Now, yeah. now we, we as in oh. every other show... This show is no different. We have a new sponsor. Every show we have a new sponsor. Now this sponsor is a little different. Um, do you want to tell us, to tell the viewers who the new sponsor is, Bill? No, I don't think so. Okay, but this is this this one's going to knock your socks off. Oh wow, let's go ahead and, and run the commercial. Okay, Leaf, go yeah. ahead and roll the clip for our new sponsor. We're, we are users of our sponsors. Get ready. Go ahead and yep. roll the clip, Leaf. Saxons, Miracle, Water, Powder. Amazing powder that purifies and exponentially expands the quality and quantity of any water source. Take one cup of any quality water, add one teaspoon of our Miracle Powder, wait 15 minutes, and you will have one gallon of crystal clear drinking water. It's so simple. You just add one teaspoon of Zaxxon's Miracle Powder to one cup of water, any quality, and wait just five minutes, and you will have one gallon of purified drinking water. Add one cup of powder to six gallons of water, any quality, and you will have 48 gallons of purified drinking water. This amazing product has been provided as a gesture of kindness by Zaxxon of the planet Niboru. As a way of helping out mankind before the big end all potluck date approaches, this miracle is being offered. For just the small amount of $29.99. To cover the manufacturing and shipping costs. Call 605-475-6967 now. Operators are standing by. Boy, what a product that is. That's a it's miracle amazing. product. Yeah. I actually took a packet of, of the water, liquid water, to Arizona when I went uh, on vacation. And, uh, boy, it, it just worked like a champ. It multiplied exponentially the amount of oh. water you get and the quality of water you so get. So I didn't have to carry a lot of water in. This is a gift from, from Zaxxon of, yeah. of the planet Nibiru, if you remember our previous our first show. show this year. He's kind of yeah. given Earth a, a gift. Yeah, he liked our show so much, he came up with a product. So this is a packet of it right here that Bill's holding in his yeah, hand. Wonderful. Now we have another call coming in another right now. Another call already. So let, let's go okay. ahead and take it. He's been waiting. Okay. This one's been waiting on hold for a here long time. Go ahead, caller. Go ahead, caller. What's Tell your, your name? name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Wallace. Hi, hey, Wallace. Hey, I'm calling from uh, Needle Junction, California. Oh, nice place. Hey, Wallace, yeah. how you doing? Needle Junction. I don't know if I've heard of that place. Yep, that, that, that works really that, well. That works. And I put one teaspoon of powder in that dirty ditch water, and I waited 15 minutes. That's it? And I had a gallon of pure drinking water. Wow. Yep, that's what it does. Yeah, it's it, so it, small it works to carry miracles. It works fits in a pack. Yeah, yep. very nice. 
Did you have other questions for Anything us? else? Yeah. yeah. One gallon of pure drinking water from just one cup of dirty ditch water. I'm telling you guys, this Saxon's Miracle water powder saved my life, saved my dog's life, and it even saved my parrot's life. I had my parrot out backpacking with me. That's right. I take him everywhere I go. Oh, yeah, they're, parrot, they're intelligent. They, they need to be with you. That's <laughs> I just want to thank you, boys, for this wonderful, wonderful product, just like all your products. You guys keep up the good work. Oh, I gotta thank you. go now. Thank Talk you very to you much. later. Bye. Well, uh, thanks, thanks a lot, oh, Wallace, and, and uh, just want to let you know. Thank, thank, uh, yeah. you, thank Zaxxon for it. Also, yeah, what he's, a great product. He's the one who provided this for us. He didn't even us. need to do invent help. No, he just did it himself. He did it himself, and, yeah. it, and, and the, the cost of it is just for manufacturing and distribution. That's oh, it. Yeah. Very no, well priced. No profits being made from this yeah. product. Yeah. Now, oh. um, the phone number one more yeah. time, just to let you know: six zero five four seven five six nine six seven. Call us now. Call us now. Now, what we have coming up for you now? Oh, the actual uh, Bill and I. We actually went to Jetty Island. We actually went to Jetty Island. We were provided an actual map. Yeah. To go look for what Colby Wencher, Wencher, Wencher. Colby the Wencher, the pirate. Billy. Billy the Wencher. Billy the Wencher Colby. Colby. I get his name mixed up sometimes because yeah. it's a strange name, but he, he was so ticked off, he buried this on Jetty Island. Yeah. Well, he left the map. He even forgot where he put the map. Forgot where he put but the map. But we found it. We were, we were, we were provided the, that information yeah. and that map. It was yeah. a copy of the map, be it, yeah. but it was very old. Yeah. So we went to the location. We found, we believe, it might have it just is. been a part of the treasure, but it was, it was a significant part of the treasure. So We've we got are, a nice film about it. We are going to show you now a clip yeah. of, of Bill and I locating that treasure with a metal detector and a shovel and actually finding it. Yeah, we need to roll that clip. So go ahead, Leaf, roll that clip right now for the audience. We're here on Jetty Island with It Is Real investigative reporter Ron Bagwell. Hey, Ron, I hear you found a map somewhere of that treasure. That's right, Bill. It was presented to us by a, by a group of, of people that are renovating the old Masonic temple on uh, Everett Avenue in Everett, Washington. Is that the one that has the off-track bedding? It used to have off-track bedding a long time ago. This is an old, old building that goes back a long time ago. They're renovating the basement. They came across a locker. They opened it and they found an old map. Cool. It's in, it's in relatively good shape. It's a scroll. Wow. Well, this scroll has a, an actual map on it. I understand it has brought you to this particular location? It brought us to this location and we're really fortunate that this location is still has exposed sand area. So we're going to, we followed the location here. We, we counted off, we actually used uh, um, landmarks. Yeah. And we came to this location. We're going to see if we can actually find anything buried under the location where it says it is supposed to be buried. And this is a supposedly a Billy the Wencher Billy the Colby. Wencher Colby. His map. This is actually his, his map. map. This, might be, this might be a replication of his original map, but yeah. we're going to see if we can actually find what's supposed okay. to be buried here. Okay, what's the big tip off on the map? Is there anything here that really tipped you off? Well, there's... Uh, actually, there is a point of land which is 200 yards to the south of here. So we, we, we counted off from the point of the point of land. It's a, a small stream that comes that runs down oh, cool. from the interior. Okay. So that small stream that runs down, we counted off 200 paces. Wow. And we ended up right here. Okay, so you're going to take your metal detector now and search. And the 200 paces from the small stream, and then yeah. inland to the east, uh -huh. there's, there's, a, there's an old trail where now the railroad track lies. Oh, wow. Okay. And we counted 225 paces due west. So this should be the location. So if we come 225 yeah. paces due west, uh -huh. and, and from that point where the old railroad grade is, where the new railroad grade is now, uh -huh. and then... 200 paces south. And this is the spot. We end up on this spot right here. And luckily, it's not covered over by a log right now. Yeah. So we're going to dig down and see what we can find. Okay. So and you've go got a metal detector too, don't you? A metal you? detector, and we're going to see if we can get it going. So the next thing you're going to see is us using this metal detector. We're going to see what we can do. Auto cap. Auto cap. 
So it's going to sound. Oh, oh that's that sounded different. That's not a bottle cap. Oh, mark that spot. That's not a bottle cap right okay, here. Okay, cool. That's our spot to dig right now. Okay, here. let's cut. Right here. Oh, I see metal. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. So go, cool. we're going to go ahead and dig up He's still here. digging there. Still digging. Look at that. It looks like a chest right oh, here. Oh, it's going down even deeper. There it is. It's Look, it looks like a box. Ooh, now you saw what Bill and I had to go through. Oh, uh, it was a ordeal, I'll tell you. To find this. Yeah. Now this is the, what we found under the ground. We have cleaned it up. We actually had it sent in to be cleaned up at the lab. Now some of the items we found here mm. are, are they seem to be out of time with the, the, the time period of Billy the Winter Colby. So, Which leads us to believe that there's some time travel involved. There could be a little bit of time travel involved with this. We're not sure. Yeah. We don't, we're not sure if John, John Titus was involved in this or not. He might even oh, be. Yeah. He might even be responsible for leading us to the map. Yeah, they now, remember John Titus from our the item. Season. First item I'm going to pull out of here oh. is the actual map. That was the map we used. That that we led to. It's old. You can tell by the edges. Yeah. It's old, but it, it led us to the location. And I'm not going to show you the map, the location, because I don't want people going to that no, location no. and digging it all up. No, they, do. they so, swarm all over that so location. So I'm not unrolling this, yeah. just to let you know. Yeah. So this is the actual map. Yeah. So what did we find, Ron? So here's some items that we found. I'm going to pull them out and show you real fast. This is actual, and it's in a hermetically sealed bag right now, hermetically yeah. sealed, so it, no damage will come to it from the air. The lab tech. This is yeah. actual, what we figure to be pirate script of Billy the Winter Colby. It's very small, but it's imprinted. With, with actual images yeah, of the time. The coinage there, too. And it's coinage. Now, this coinage actually is only printed on one side, is that right? Well, the paper money is only oh, printed on one side. That's right. We figure because the, the, the printing press that he had yeah. and, and, the, and the, the resources that crude. he had, very, very crude. crude, but it served his purpose yeah. as pirate script. Yeah. This is the actual coinage that we found. It's worth a lot of money. This is actual gold, gold, yeah. gold plated. This By is worth way. a lot of money. Yeah. So we are, this is being kept in a very secure location, just to let you know. This is some more image that we found. What else you got here? We also found, oh, beads. But you know what the beads were in. And well, what really leads us yeah, to believe would, that, that time travel might be involved with this, these yeah. beads were found in this can. Look what's on the can. It's a Pringles can. Yeah. And uh, I don't think Br Pringles no. were around back when... Uh, I don't believe so. Billy the Winter Colby was around. So. But these, we had these beads analyzed. Yeah. And these were Native American beads, yeah. and these were actually made of bone. Yeah, this is an actual Those are bone. Little tiny skulls. Breed. Little tiny yeah. bone skulls. Yeah, but they're carved by Native yeah. Americans. We figure it might be the the oh. Haida Indians. I bet the Haida. The Haida had something to do yeah. with this. Yeah. We also found a very small, intact skeleton. Little tiny dinosaur. This is an actual. We had it analyzed. An actual yeah. real skeleton. Yes. This is not fake. This Carbon is a real dated. skeleton. Somehow. Yeah. It's intact, and it's, yeah. it's held together. Yeah, it's we one of the best-preserved tiny dinosaur uh, bone collection in the world. We, right? don't, have, we don't know how. No. We have no idea. No. We also found a well-preserved yeah. octopus arm. It's still fresh. It's still fresh, yeah. well-preserved. You can bend it, right? You can bend it, Yeah. and it's, it, it's real. Yeah. It's, it's well-preserved. We, we don't know how it stayed like this. Yeah. We also found a bunch of bones, and we had them oh, analyzed. Yeah, torture and devices. They turn out to be finger bones. Yes. Finger bones. And they ancient. were actually placed, two of them were actually still in yeah. what is an ancient Chinese, Chinese. finger lock. There's a Chinese bracelet. connection here. Two of the bones were still in the finger lock. What do you call it? A finger lock? It's a finger lock. Yeah. What they did was yeah. the, the pirates used this when, yeah. when somebody misbehaved. Yes. They, they had the person that misbehaved stick their fingers in each end, yeah. and he couldn't pull their fingers out. Yeah. Therefore, they were, they were... They were just there forever. They were there forever. And then they died. And, it, okay. and they died, and their bones were still in yeah. the finger lock. Yeah. That's absolutely Amazing. incredible. Wow. Then we found a small ivory Ooh. skull. Yeah, that's this is worth a lot of money. Carved ivory. Yes. We don't believe in ivory, by the way. No. But they didn't care back then. No, back then. Then we found a small, it's amber, some kind of amber, oh, not yeah. amber, but some kind of jade. Yeah. yeah, look at that. Globe. Beautiful. But it's perfectly formed jade, very heavy. Yeah. How did they know what, how the, what the globe looked like? Back well, in, in the 18, early 1800s, they knew it was round. Well, they didn't know what the continents looked like. But they somehow, they, it's a perfectly yeah. car carved jade yeah, perfect. skull. Perfectly carved. Then we have another ivory. Oh, 
eyeball. We figured this has yeah. something to do with the occult. Yeah. Some kind of magical pra uh, practice, religious practice. Yeah. So there's amazing, and then what we found, and we don't know why oh, this yeah, was why? in there. This is A amazing. small statue, wood carved, it's a wood carved figure yes. of Moses holding what well, looks like the Ten Commandments, yeah. but it's all carved out of wood, yeah. solid wood. It looks like yeah. mahogany. He's we, probably taking that to the Holy Land. We figure it's mahogany. That was in, that was in the, uh, the hold of the ship. But it's in, it's yeah. in the hold of the ship. Yeah. And then a bottle, just an empty bottle. We had it dated back to the early 1800s. It's one of their bottles, nothing in it, by the way. Yeah. And then a sewing kit. Yeah. I guess if the pirates they ripped their this. pants yeah, or anything they like that. Had, they had to sew their own clothes. They had a little yeah. sewing kit with thread needles and everything. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was in here, so Amazing. that's a little what was found. So. Yeah. Very good, it was very educational. So, by the way, so, um, that's a little what was found. Let me go ahead and close the box up here. We have, we have a, call? a call. We have another call coming another in. Call. Let's go ahead and take the call. Uh, it looks like we've got this call oh. right here. Go ahead, caller. Tell us your name. Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Wallace. Wallace? Uh, uh, you can't call. You can't call twice, can't Wallace. Call again. No, that, that's no, Wallace tried to call us twice. No, okay. Sorry, Wallace. Yeah, he keeps trying that to call was us. Bruce Wallace, no, it's Bruce No, here we oh. go. Here we go. Uh, nope, nope. She tried to call us twice already too. Yeah, okay. Can't have that one. Can't have that one at all. Here we go. You're, you're the next one in line. <laughs> Don't call us twice. No. Go, Go ahead, caller. caller. What's your name? Mr. Ken. My name is Griswold DeAndre. I'm from Arlington, Washington. Hi, Griswold. Hey. Hi, Griswold. How you it's doing today? There, Thanks yeah. for calling. Welcome to the show. Yeah, I want to just say you guys are just great. I, I watched every show so far, cool. and I think everything you do is true. It well, is. Well, uh, everything. That's why it's called. It is real. Everything that's we the do is the show. I wish you would have. I wish you would have called me. I would have loved to have gone. Well, you know, well, the liability on that is is heavy for us. We don't have the insurance to cover. Yeah, uh, everybody. My name and number, and keep it for future shows. Well, we'll we we'll take it, and we'll put you on our mailing list for sure. You know, you get on our YouTube. Thank uh, you. Oh, you're welcome. So you can get on our YouTube yeah. channel and and leave a comment if you'd like to, and subscribe. Yeah, it's as well. Hole in the wall TV Everett. You can Google us. You can Google that, and our phone number, by the way, is six zero five four seven five six nine six seven. We had some of our callers try to call us two times in this show. I know. Do we have another call? Uh, I don't. I think we might have one more call coming one more. in. Let's go ahead and take this call. Go ahead, caller. Go Thank ahead, you, caller. Man. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello there. Well, this is General Quentin P. Jackstaff oh, calling. Hey, General. Hey, guys, I just want to let you know that this treasure is. that you found, or that you say you found, and, and from what I see, it looks like you did find one. Oh, yeah. This treasure belongs to the United States government. Well, well I don't think true. so because no. we found it. We had all the rights and the permits. That's right. That's, uh, no, no, this, this, this belongs to the United States government, it, unless you had the permit we did, that man. gives you specific rights to claim this, this treasure as your own. You, mm. you owe this government, you owe the government mm. this treasure. This, mm. this is on United States property. Hey, we had salvage permits. We had salvage permits. We had, yeah. we had the permits. Right. I checked on this. I, I did research, and I found out that this is not, this is not your property. Well, don't well, rain on our parade. We're not claiming it for ourselves, but we had the rights to dig just it up. Just wanted to let you know. I'm watching your show, and I'm keeping, I'm keeping an eye on you guys. So just, just wanted to let you know I'm, I'm watching your show. Anyway, uh, I'm, you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. But this, this is not your property. Okay, General. Uh, General, he, he, he goes... Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Sounds like he also stepped on a chicken. I'm yeah, not sure what happened. That was he, weird. He follows us around every show. He's on every show. Just he about. seems to be on our side sometimes, and other, other times he seems to not be on our side. I don't think he has a lot to do. I, I, think, he's, I think he's retired or, yeah. or he's kicked out. But yeah. by the way, we had permits to dig this, and we're not claiming, oh, yeah. we're not claiming it for ourselves. We oh, just no. had the rights to salvage it. Yeah. And we and, and to prove that it's a it is a real story. Right. We'll be donating some of this to museums around the country. Absolutely. They're going to want to get their hands on some of this because this is some yeah. of the most unique stuff ever found. Oh, okay. Yeah. And now you know the hope too is that once we found the treasure, 
that the curses are going to stop. That's true. Dig it up, curses are released. Yeah, Everett, oh, oh. Everett has paid the price. Hopefully the curses aren't, more curses aren't released by digging it no, up. No, I don't think so. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. Now, by oh. the way, uh, it looks like we're running we're out of time. Up. Yeah, Leaf has given us the high sign. Leaf is telling us that it's time to wrap okay, it up. Leaf. We would like to thank you all for oh, tuning yeah. into our show. Thanks for, for subscribing. And, think, and you, remember, yeah. you can subscribe to our YouTube channel yeah. at Hole in the Wall TV, Everett. You can Google that. Yep. Now, our next show coming Ooh, up. Oh, we're going to like this one. You're going to like that. It, it, it's, you you want to tell them what it is, Bill? Uh, it's, it's about the head swapping doctors of Cut and Shoot, Texas. Texas. This is, a, oh, man. This is a, a town in Texas that probably yeah. no one has ever heard of, but there's a group of surgeons there, a group yeah. of doctors, yeah. that are actually performing human head swapping, human yeah. head transplants. This came from a tip from one of our viewers. Thank you. And this is actually happening. Yep. So we'd like to thank you all for tuning in and viewing our show and stay tuned for the, yeah. our next show. And remember, as we, as we leave this show, as every other show, it is real. Good night, everybody. Good night and have a great night. Good night. Good night now. Good night. Hello? Good night there. Good night. Wrap it up. Are we Cut done? Cut it, Leaf. Are we done? Good night. Leaf, turn, the, turn the camera off, Leaf. Good night. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? The light of the morning. Way, hey, now she rises. Way, hey, now she rises. Way, hey, now she rises. Her light in the morning. Put him in the long boat until he's sober. Put him in the long boat until he's sober. Put him in the long boat until he's sober. Bravo, three.